guys it's sf cyber security today i'm going to be teaching you how to install kali linux on your chrome os without rooting as you can see i already have kali linux installed on my chromebook os without rooting my chrome os so watch my previous video on how to install arcane tools on your system to know how to install linux on your chrome os saying so after you've watched the previous video then you can follow these steps i'm about to carry out so first you want to install nun, um, nano text editor so when you want to press sudo apt install nano tag yes which means tag y which means yes we already have it it's nano already installed running the latest version so we're going to press ctrl l to clean up the screen then the next process we're going to be doing we're going to be editing the source file for pigwin we're going to be editing it and using kali linux ur to update and download packages which means we are going to be using the kali linux respiratory that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to be use sudo and nano sudo for permission then nano we've already done that so we're just going to do it again for educational purposes and so you can see the process etc where we're going to locate the source file the list where it is etc slash apt then sources the list the list enter then you can see everything's already done yeah we this was the this were the commands that were there initially bullseye so we're not going to be using bullseye so we're going to press hash tag on all of them we're going to use hash on all of them so see it changes color that means the commands become active so press hash on it which means they just become text and it doesn't work then this is where you're going to be adding to it then you don't want to put hash in front of this one because this is the kali linux server we're going to be connecting to and be upgrading and downloading and updating our packages from which is HTTP, HTTP, Kali dot target, Kali, Kali rolling main country non slash free, non tag free, right? So we're going to press the control X, then Y, control Y, yes to modify, then enter to save it. So after doing that, you want to update your system. While well, after you update your system, sudo so apt update. So after updating your system what you want to do next is you want to download the Kali Linux software key by using sudo wget then you enter a specific URL you want to download it then we use the tag o command to output the file to a folder a specific folder in our etc slash ATP folder where our source list file is that same folder so let's start we're going to use sudo W get we should all know W get it's a tool for downloading for the I think easy for you could also use it to spider to a website that's for people that are into website development and cyber security you can use it to spider a website so slash archive dot Kali the org slash archive tag key dot asc then we're going to be outputting the file to that folder we mentioned tag etc apt then we're going to name it trusted dot gpg because it's a gpg key gpg dirt positive gpg key dot then again dot d then slash kali tag archive 
in Europe, Korea, yeah, yeah, yeah. The archive tag Kali, the key rings, rather, key rings, the ASC. Then we're gonna hit enter. We've already done that, so completed saved then what you want to do is you want to update your system sudo apt update sudo apt update again so because we already have that done already Usually it's going to take a while for you to update your system after changing your respiratory, your source list and downloading the Kali software key. Then we're going to do a sudo apt full tag upgrade. Tap what? Tap what means yes. So because we've upgraded before, it won't take much time. It's going to take much time if you're doing it for the first time. Not too much time, but a, a while, I should say. And quick disclaimer: all this is for all this I'm doing right now are for educational purposes not for any malicious act educational purposes only so unpacking the files and installing the advantage of having color links on your base chromebook virtual penguin Linux virtual machine is that it's lightweight you don't want to install too many packages so the Chromebook doesn't your virtual machine doesn't slow down your Chromebook depends on how strong your Chromebook is the RAM the memory and so on and so forth so we're just gonna wait for this process to be completed Like I said, if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to take a long time. But once you've done it before and you upgrade again, it shouldn't take much time. I'm even lucky right here because the installing processes wasn't staying longer as usual. Usually to install them to download rather it's going to stick so long but because I already upgraded before Then now I'm installing doing the installation As you can see removing this obsolete Files it's removing them on parking vim then it's actually installing the I did the normal upgrade before that's why it's not taking much time as it's usually supposed to do. I did the normal sudo apt upgrade. But now the process I just did now was the sudo apt full upgrade. Let me highlight it where I tap it so you can see. Here we go. Full upgrade is different from just upgrading.
so after this process if you like you could go ahead and install a desktop environment if you thinking of installing a desktop environment on your chromebook for Kali Linux I advise you to download the XFCE desktop environment because it's lightweight unlike KDE which is heavyweight and it comes down to the type of Chromebook you're using if the system has large storage and memory it's gonna be fine but if your system your Chromebook doesn't have much RAM or storage or the processor ain't good enough I advise you to use the XFCE desktop environment which will be faster and more usable for you and drain less power and <laughs> you run into less problems like less error well most of this error all have solution so comment in, your, in the comments and the error you get in the comment section let me know the kind of error messages you get in getting desktop and packing rented one percent I'm sure this is taking much of our time but we know patient is a virtue you want to store the cyber security you want to go to the process of reconnaissance which doesn't take just one day second day it takes a long while to properly to properly scan the network and get the information you want about it before you can move on to the next stage of getting exploit and shit there's another topic entirely <laughs> that's on their penetration testing please feel free to suggest the kind of videos you want me to make next and like for more videos like this like and subscribe for more videos like this because I'm gonna be dropping videos frequently I got multiple YouTube channels so it should if my use my f uh, if people interact to my content more I'm gonna be posting more videos like this so please like subscribe and share with your friends if you are a cyber security lover and please give me a thumbs up for more videos like this SF cyber security that's the name so we're at 54% right now we're almost done the world is in the cyber space right now so I think if you know curse up in the cyber world you're lacking behind sorry to say because everything is going cyber the economy everything money wise everything financial wise business wise everything cyber security man you need to have the knowledge the knowledge and quick disclaimer all for educational purposes not for any malicious purposes because we know what Kalinix could be used for and we as cyber security professionals we are glad to call ourselves ethical actors we are we follow our ethics and code of honor we white hearts hackers, we're not black hats. That's what I'm telling you again. Everything in this video is for educational purposes only. Do not install Kali Linux and trying to hack your friends with Metasploit and stuff like that. Without permission, you could go to jail for that. So we're done installing Kali Linux. We've upgraded our system.
so let's control l to clear the screen and the last command will be to install kali linux default which we already have but we're going to do it again so you can see how to install it and the code you write so sudo apt install kali default then tap y for yes to skip the yes or no process then you can see we already have the newest version running so we want to restart the system this way if you just install it for the first time shut down then we start up again you're going to see that the process the front is going to show and everything is going to be different from when you were running just Penguin Bullseye Linux distribution on your Chromebook it's going to be different it's going to show you some Kali Linux welcome greeting and disclaimer I think uh, just hold up it's going to pop up right now yeah a message from Kali developers this is a minimal installation of Kali Linux you likely want to install supplementary tools learn out from this URL here and run touch to hide this message we can hide the message if we want to so like ghost mode when your terminal is opened you don't want anyone seeing this message from Kali Linux that I would install so let's go run there so I think we want to use sudo to run such command that's permission so we don't run into errors and we're gonna press we're just gonna press the command we've seen there the hush login to hide it then done then we're gonna see if we start it up again we shut down and start up Linux it will show us this message from Kali develop developers yeah, you see Shana's initializing. Starting the virtual machine. Starting the container manager. Ready, then that's all. It just shows me my username and my penguin. And you can see my Kalinux will still be showing there. Let's first see who am I? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm seeing it's a sample. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, how to install Kali Linux on your Chromebook without rooting. Thank you for watching. SF Cyber Security. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Peace.